Well, hello guys, this is me, Krushed again. And isn't this quite fascinating here, guys? Basically, you, you can already have guessed it, guys. As soon as a Brawl Stars update comes around, near officially near the end of the month, saw so an update for War Robots 2, basically. So, why not let's get started on this, basically, right away, guys. Yeah, like immediately, yeah. So by the way, if any of you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, practically speaking, please feel free to do so, guys. It will so indeed help me out a lot. It will show all the love and support in the world, and yeah. Anyways, let's see part of the update that came direct around the 27th of February. So basically three days before the 1st of March, because practically speaking, yesterday was the leap year as I... Totally mentioned about three different times, three in my videos, so yeah. So, event is called Echoes of the Past. I'm not sure how much of these videos I keep on making, but whatever. Get for them. Um, so, advanced targeting systems. So, wait a minute. Did they actually, did Pixonic actually finally improve on the targeting system after some time? After realizing... How um, entirely screwed up the um, somewhat other kinds of systems, like the targeting systems have been all these years. So that would be, um, I would say, pretty amazing. But they might have actually fixed it or whatever. Anyways, we basically got a new titan called the Bagged Weir. Which has a gigantic, basically I'm guessing an Aegis shield. Not Aegis. My mistake, a Sorbo shield, the purple Sorbo shield, which has a high defense. So, if you look at the defense system, when the shield's active, the Sorbo shields, it's similar to how you would see the reference of the Titan Arthur, the beginning of the robot, the beginning of the Titans when it came out years back. So, basically, when I started doing War Robots videos back four or five years ago. So gigantic shield, what a powerful magnetic shield that would be considered here for sure, guys. Then new tight titan frame throwers and frano and payro. I think, yeah. And ultimate weapons. No, okay. So we have the ultimate edition for the calamity weapon and the ocean robot. Oh good. Wow, we're getting plenty more ultimate robots for certain that are coming into a rise in the game and stuff like that, practically speaking, guys. And then all the other stuff for... Okay, so we have robots and weapons for rebalance. All that's coming into good features and stuff. As we can already guess it, new theme music for um, War Robots and stuff, plus the new Google Play update, as I mentioned from previously, some other tendency of the update... I can imagine so much that not all the parts to or robots per se um, got all the updates released to tire into the game, but they're working their way in. Make the most do we can out of it, of course, guys. So as you can see, yeah. Look! Yeah, it's a tight. It's one of the Titans up in the flight mode, followed by the Bedweer Titan, too. Crazy good stuff. And plus, we're on the new month. We're at the beginning of the 1st of March. So, super sweet on that. I can say, guarantee for sure. Out of three days before the data path has basically ended upon. Else? Yeah. I guess there's just no direct purpose of even coming in the game, even though there's not very really much to the beneficial update that comes directly into these entire games and all that kind of crazy stuff, guys, and yep. But I can guarantee to tell you this one thing for sure, guys. It always feels like such a wonderful satisfaction for sure that come basically right within. And here's some new... War Robots theme music for certain guys. So now anyways, I guess hope you guys enjoyed today's basic 
usual War Robots update video. And so, yeah, guys, still got my very usual, yeah, familiar setup as we can all guarantee to see for sure, guys. And so, yep, anyways, Christian signing up. Bye-bye, guys. And so, yep. And all my titles. And the only one I have is the Commander one, sadly. Just, yep. 